FPL is a joke. That's a quote from Cy Bellamy, aka the best. I'm not gonna lie, I agree with him. Hello everybody and welcome to another Elite FPL video. But this time I'm live from Buckingham Palace. Just felt like coming down here because I can. I was delivering around the corner the other day. Yeah, but I could go to their house and uh, do a stream from there. Yeah, hello everybody. Um, obviously, a few hours ago, and I'm recording this at, well, it's pretty much four o'clock in the afternoon. Obviously, the live stream went out at one, and I was listening in to Andy, checking out how the prices were coming through, and I thought, personally, the majority of the players that I expected to be quite high were going to be quite high. The likes of Holland, typical tourists getting in the way, all the traffic again. But Holland 14 million, yes, as expected. The ones that I'm genuinely quite surprised at are the likes of Fernandez at 8.5. That could be an absolute steal. Fernandez at 8.5 could be an absolute steal, especially with Man United's opening fixtures. You've then got the likes of, just get a quick view over there. You've then got the likes of Odegaard, 8.5, so I'm going to assume that Saka's gonna come in at nine, nine, probably 9.5. That would make complete sense. Um, this is obviously, as you can imagine, really busy around here, as you can probably guess. Um, shall I do a reverse shot? I'll do a quick reverse shot of what's going on. Yeah, so stay in the office. It's very, very busy around here. I'm going to try and find a place to sit. But certainly, I think that the player prices so far that I've seen, they're really, really cheap. What the hell? Maria, what are you doing? You're not going to stop. Stop and say hello. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to have to pause this. Hold on a minute. Hello. Oh. There we are. Pause this. A few moments later. That was a bizarre, that, that is actually the most random spot anybody could actually see me. That was Maria, uh, my favourite milk from work. Incredible, what is the chance of me seeing her here? So yeah, I, I think that the, the prices for the game are very, very cheap. Seeing that Benson, the Lionel Messi, the Lionel Messi of Burnley, it's only 5.5 million. Now, again, I, I reiterate this. He's not a guaranteed starter. He is not a guaranteed starter. But if he is, once the fixtures become good, I'm telling you this for free, 5.5 is an absolute steal. Now, based on the fact that Benson's 5.5, I'm going to assume that the rest of the players, like the likes of Zawari, are going to be 6 million. Six million for Zawari could be a steal. Now, by the time this video comes out, the Burnley player prices may have already been revealed and I could be talking absolute nonsense. But I think based simply on Zawari's price, I think that, oh, sorry, ben, based on Benson's price, Zawari should be um, six million. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised at how cheap the prices are for the other players as well um, to be honest I can't even do you know what I can't even think what the prices are that's how much research has gone into this I've just seen a, a tweet from FPL mate and he I can't remember to see I can see the tweet from FPL mate that's put out all the prices for what they are and they're all like I said they're all pretty straightforward I don't I'm, like I say, I think Sun, Sun could be an absolute steal. Tottenham's fixtures after the first couple of games are absolutely dynamite. But like they are top, top, top. Um, Tottenham's fixtures are. And we all know the quality that Sun brings. And hopefully, whoever this new manager is, because again, that's how much research I do. I don't even know who the manager is. 
But by all accounts, it's supposed to be absolutely, should we use that line again? Top notch. I think that we could be in for an absolute steal. I really do think that um, the game could have got it wrong. But then again, we say this every bloody year, don't we? The game could get it wrong. But when I did my draft the other week, or a few weeks back, and I essentially saw that Holland was probably going to be, well, they were all putting at 13 million, the 14 million for Holland. And then I'm thinking to myself, hold a minute here, I think the most vi viable strategy for this, this game could be a 3-5-2. And that includes having Harry Kane and Holland up top. Because in theory, you can have the likes of Fernandez, uh, Saka, Son, along with the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Rhys James, Chilwell. Because I'm thinking, my immediate thought process is already to this game are, I want to go 3-5-2, go with two premium defenders, definitely having a Man City defender, so I'm assuming John Stones will be 5.56, I'd probably put him at 6 personally, but whatever, 5.56, and then I think from that point onwards, I think certainly you could go with, because Chilwell and James, they're going to be coming in at 5.5, I would, again, this is just me guessing, but what, sometimes what I notice about with fantasy football is that they put really popular players, the likes of Fernandes or whatever, like a, like a drop in price. And when it comes to players where you think they could be absolutely gems because of the season they had before, like the likes of Reese James, for argument's sake, oh, he's six million. What? How can you put Reese James at six million, but the, the likes of Fernandes is 8.5? But that's just a, a simple, basic um, thought process. But, oh, what's going on here? But certainly, I am... Um, I was uh, very excited for today and it's kind of just ended up being a bit... Uh, I do agree with Andy that I think that the way the game releases the prices so early and once the game gets launched you're just like, oh, yeah, let's just get on with it, let's just get on with the teams. There's no real, oh my god, have you seen the price of... Oh my goodness! Whereas Booker T says, "Oh my good, look at the price of X player, you know, and so on and so forth." So, from that aspect, you know, the excitement levels drop. But hey, we're all in it to we're all in it to win it, and we're all in it to win the Tour Bailey. Oh, shouldn't talk about Tour Bailey. We're all in it to win the Rivals League, <laughs> or in the. Or in the members league or the rivals league, yeah. I think now um, the game is what going to be launched in about two weeks, uh, two weeks, two days. Sorry, but it's still a little. I certainly think now the game is going to be released in the next few days. Because obviously they said in Tuesday and Wednesday the Premier League teams are going to be releasing prices, and then. Probably by, I'm assuming, Thursday or Friday, the game is going to be released. By which point, the content's going to keep on coming. And like me and Jason always say, we want to up the level this year. And we are going to be doing so. Anyhow, that was just a quick video. Um, I'm sure you guys, by the time this is out, has already gone through various um, threads on Discord. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here. So as ever, thanks for watching and um, see you next time.